couldn't build any man Short red dress Hey, good morning, good morning, guys! And a welcome, welcome to the show. We are going to attempt to start our day now. Yeah, we just had our 10 hour break. And let me tell you, it is a cold one out here this morning. As you guys probably already saw and, uh, and everything there. Barely things want to turn here right now. It's it's so cold that water freezes just about instantly, right? Let me put my four ways on so people know I'm going slow. Yeah, here we go. I know this is a cold, cold, cold day. It was minus 43 this morning. With the wind chill, it's minus 56. And at minus 40, it equals out with Fahrenheit, guys. It really does. My truck has been running for the last two hours, I would say. And my temperature wasn't going up at all. I'm barely able to be comfortable in the truck. It's a little bit on the cool side, but, you know, I'm okay. But here we go. Yeah, things barely want to turn, man. Like, these wheels are so frozen almost that... They almost don't want to turn, but hey, we're getting there, we're getting there. After a couple of miles, I guarantee you we'll be alright, but things will start heating up as they turn, right? But at least we didn't freeze up yet so far, so that is awesome. I like that, I made sure I filled up in campus casing last night as you guys saw, and uh, went and uh, Put in some uh, stuff that that way my diesel shouldn't freeze, right? Otherwise, I might be screwed, right? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't mean that that's a guarantee, but you know, it's a good indicator that we will won't be freezing, right? And the truck has been running, like I said, for the last two hours. I know it started a couple of times throughout the night too, so that's that's awesome. And here we go. Now we got a thousand and thirty-five kilometers to go till we get home, sweet home. It's going to be a long day, but that's just how it goes, right? It's quarter after nine right now, and uh, so that's that. That's hammer down. That's probably going to be about a twelve. I would say twelve-hour drive to get home. So yeah, we probably won't be home before. I'm going to say 11 o'clock tonight, that's kind of what I'm thinking because I'll probably, you know, you know, make me a few pit stops along the way and stuff like that, so I can almost guarantee you that we won't be home before 11 tonight, but regardless, we're going to try our best and then that way we can do uh, a reset by uh, Tuesday at 11, we would have 36 hours off, right? Something inside of here is is vibrating. I'm not sure what it is, but it sounds like that's that lock or whatever inside of here. Yeah, I might have to see if there's a screw loose or something, but it's annoying me, right? But because right now it's pulling super, super hard, right? But anyways, how are you guys doing? Welcome into the show. I really appreciate you guys tuning in for another cold, cold winter. <laughs> Now, of course, when you look outside the window, it doesn't look cold, right? But I showed you on yesterday's video uh, on how cold it was this morning. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out because it was cold, 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 cold. But see, now my temperature is almost up to where it normally yeah, it's all it's up to where it normally is. So that's awesome. So now we're starting to get some heat in the truck. I have to turn it down a little bit. But yeah, even my truck right now shows it's uh, minus 34 and we just got going, right? So it, uh, it is cold, 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 cold. And uh, I hope I can show that little clip there. I think it turned out all right. It's a little bit of a wind there, so it would have been nicer if there wouldn't have been any wind. But you guys saw, if you guys saw that clip 
That is how quickly water will freeze just by throwing it in the air, right? But anyways, let's hammer down and make our way home sweet home. All right guys, I was told that here in Breadmore, Ontario, there's a really good place to have breakfast at and I just forgot my wallet. <laughs> I'm obviously going to need my wallet, right? If I want to eat breakfast, but or at least in the restaurant, right? Here we go. We got our wallet. I know it's still crazy cold out here, but whatever. So we're going to go into that place right there and uh, check it out. My buddy told me they have good food in here, so figured I've never parked in here and uh, had anything to eat, so let's go find out. Let's come with me and see if they got any good goodies in here. Well, let's take a look, guys. We're getting us a fantastic breakfast here. Look at that ham, bacon, sausages, eggs, everything. The whole nine yards. So let's go ahead and have us a good breakfast, guys. Here we go, guys. We have now had our nice breakfast. As you guys saw in my previous clip, it was amazingly good. Oh yeah, it was just as I was told. Continue but on they have for good food over there. And I finished every little bit of it too. Oh my. I am so happy I, I pulled in there and uh, got me some good breakfast there, that's for sure. We are now in Breadmore and they have this snowman up here to the left all year long i've been taking pictures of that one uh, occasionally but yeah so we uh we got a good ways to go yet uh, 853 kilometers to go yet till we get home but that's okay that's okay we'll get home tonight we got currently 12 30 central standard time so that means we got about nine hours worth of driving to do so i would say yeah well i'd say 8 30 probably 9 30 10 o'clock i should probably be able to be home right that's kind of what i'm thinking anyways let's see what will happen so far i'm doing pretty good let's hammer down and get on down the road and get out of this cold temperature oh man this has been cold i hope it ain't gonna be too super cold at home i know it's still fairly cold but nothing like what it was over here and they are supposed to get some snow tonight so i hope it's the, the roads aren't going to be too bad generally when it's uh when it's this cold it's usually more like a dry snow it's not like a heavy wet snow or anything like that so generally we're fine you know like generally we uh we don't really have to worry about it when it's snowing when it's this cold because nothing is going to really stick to the road right and that's what you're really worried about is uh when the snow starts uh sticking to the road then it starts getting slippery right speed warning I know RJ I already put the engine brake on slower down but yeah anyhow they got lots of snow up here I bet you these snow dealers love it I guarantee you they do I sh I know I would if I was a snow dealer and I have ridden a snow before it's just been a good while since I've gotten around to fi finally doing it again because I don't have my own right but my buddy Ronnie has got one and it would be kind of nice to go out with him one day again and just do a little snowmobiling, but oh well. We'll see, maybe one day we can do it again. I have now already passed Thunder Bay, Ontario, guys. I am just giving her today and the sun is starting to get a little bit lower over there again. I know these days are fairly short up here in Canada in winter time, so it's kind of kind of tough to sometimes come up with stuff to record but we try our best right we really do yeah right now we are down to 556 kilometers to make it home sweet home 
And I'm kind of thinking maybe if the sun will go down over there and maybe if there's a good area I might photograph it and, and I love beautiful sunsets and sunrises and stuff like that. I may not always get the best picture in the world but I certainly am proud of the pictures that I do take, you know. But other than that, we're just giving air. We will probably make one more pit stop here somewhere. I think eventually anyways. I'm not sure exactly where that's going to happen, but, you know, we'll cruise down the road here for a little while, and when that time is right, then that's when we will pull over, right? In the meantime, we're going to keep that left door over here closed and just hammer down, yeah. And it has warmed up a little bit. It's not quite as crazy cold anymore as what it was this morning. However, I have seen a dozen trucks broke down on the side of the road already today. And that's mostly because guys aren't putting the proper treatment in or not enough or none at all. Some guys, they want to be cheap or they're company drivers and they don't want to spend the extra couple of bucks to put some uh, additives into it or maybe the company doesn't want to reimburse them or company uh, might not supply them with anything and now there's multiple reasons why drivers don't put it in right some drivers are new they don't know better you know they're thinking they're driving a gasoline car which you never have to put additives into it and they have no idea that diesel freezes much quicker than gasoline does and so uh, you know they're just some of them are inexperienced some of them just too lazy some of them don't care some of them are like well if the company ain't gonna pay for the additives then I ain't gonna put none in which that makes sense I, I wouldn't want to pay for something that the company wouldn't reimburse me either right but at the same time I wouldn't want to freeze to death out here on the road right at least that's just how my feelings goes about that but yeah our company they supply us with the uh, with the additives that we need to put into the fuel and that's good I like it that way and I'm also very very impressed with this truck so far this was the true true honest to God challenge today to find out how is this new truck going to handle the cold the extreme cold right I've heard a lot of people say they have problems with the death or this or that or whatever right and uh, so far knock on wood I haven't had any issues whatsoever which I'm very very happy for because that is definitely not a fun experience to be out there when it's 40 below zero or 43 like it was this morning and you're frozen up right that is not fun to top it off especially if your heater wasn't working right which in this case my heater was working and also my auto start did really good oh what happened here I must have somehow accidentally pressed some button somewhere but anyhow yeah we got the volume button here right so I must have accidentally hit the volume button right here on the steering column but <laughs> yeah anyways we'll go ahead and cruise on down through to Ontario here and make it home sweet home tonight I'm figuring around 10 o'clock 10 quarter after 10 somewhere in that neighborhood I think I should be home tonight so that's good that's actually earlier than I originally thought and that means now I can go out Tuesday at 10 o'clock I'll have my 36 hour reset which we are required here in Canada to do so that is nice I like that all right guys I have made it home now yes indeed I have and uh, it is the next morning already and I'm looking out of the weather or out of the window looking at the weather 
It's not looking so good out there. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. Uh, that's quite white. <laughs> because I don't have the ND filter on here. But anyways, <clears throat> I'm uh, going to go ahead and close off the show. <laughs> and uh, wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I know uh, we drove quite late last night yet too to get home, right? Well, not super late, but we got home around quarter after 10. So wife came and picked me up and uh, now it's the next morning. We're getting ready to uh, do some stuff. But anyhow, appreciate you guys watching. Come back tomorrow and see what we're up to.